Spaghetti squash is a unique variety of squash that's available almost all of the year. I'm Karen Lasher, chef owner of Around the Table in Camas, Washington, and I'm going to show you how to make a spaghetti squash cake. A great way to get vegetables into your kid's diet or even maybe your husband's. This is the inside of the spaghetti squash. What I've done with the spaghetti squash was I cut it in half and then I baked it in the oven for about an hour is about how long it takes. I let it cool and then I just shred it and you can see a little bit here that's kind of just how it just comes out that way. I didn't do anything magical. It just shreds from the skin. And you end up with spaghetti looking squash, thus the name. So here to make our cake, we've started with a third of a cup of white sugar, a third of a cup of brown sugar, one quarter cup of butter, a quarter teaspoon ground ginger, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to mix this all together. Now when doing any baking, you want to make sure that you use unsalted butter. We want to mix this together until it's all combined and the butter is soft and incorporated in with our sugar. This will take a few minutes to do and while we're doing it, we'll gather our, our, the, rest, the other ingredients. Our other wet ingredients are two tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one egg. Large eggs are the size used in most recipes. You always want to use an egg that is at room temperature. So pull your egg out of the refrigerator before a good hour before you start baking. So now our sugar and butter is incorporated together. I'm using a mixer. You can also use a hand mixer and you can also do this by hand. It's a little difficult to cream butter and sugar together by hand, but you can do it. I'm going to now add our milk and vanilla and our egg. I do not tell my daughter that this has spaghetti squash in it. She just loves this cake. So once it's all mixed together, we're going to add our wet, our dry ingredients. And our dry ingredients are very simple. There are one and a quarter cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you mix it all together very thoroughly. You want your baking soda and your salt to be all mixed in with your flour before you add it. So now that it's mixed in, we're going to scrape down our bowl to be prepared for the dry ingredients. And we're going to add our flour. And here, at this point, we're really just going to stir to form our batter. Stir that nicely. The cinnamon and ground ginger in this really creates a very um, nice spice type cake and a, a great fall item. Squash is typically when it, in the fall when it becomes um, very available, but it's available all through the winter and you can a lot of times find it in the summer as well. So once that's mixed, we're just going to add our one cup of our spaghetti squash. I'm just going to add that directly into our bowl and just do, just do a quick combine. And I usually do my last combine by hand. Sometimes you don't want to do too much mixing in your, in your um, mixer. You don't want to over mix things. It kind of will create a toughness in your cake. You want it nice and light. And again, I'm just going to fold in by hand and get, make sure that's all incorporated in my batter. And then I'm going to put it in my baking pan. I'm using here one of my favorite things, which is a, a non-stick um, non baking pan. They're quite readily available on the market now. 
um, and they're really wonderful. You do not have to grease and flour them. And, but if you had a regular baking pan, you would want to grease and flour that. And then just add my cake batter. And spread that out. In this particular pan, it's going to create a wonderful little sunflower shape, which makes for a really wonderful cake. I like to make my cake a little bit on the larger, thin side as opposed to a big, thick cake. Um, and then it all becomes a nice, good snack cake as well. And we're going to bake this at 350 degrees, and we're going to bake it for about 35 minutes. So here is our spaghetti squash cake just from the oven. And in this mold, I'm going to turn it out onto my cake pl my platter. And there is my spaghetti squash cake. Now, a lot of times I like to serve this just like it is. Again, as a snack cake, it's wonderful. If you want it to be a little more of a sweet cake, a, an orange cream cheese glaze would be perfect on the top. So you just melt some cream cheese in the microwave with some orange zest, a little orange juice, and pour it on the top of there, and that would be a great addition. You could also do a traditional icing on a regular cake as well.